Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Master the NEC, where we talk about the National Electrical Code. On tonight's episode, I've had a lot of questions for people to say, Paul, why should I buy your Fast Tracks program to learn the National Electrical Code? Well, I'm going to break it down for you. And if you stick with me, I'm going to show you the newest feature in 2021 that will pay for the system by itself. In other words, the benefits you get from it are going to outweigh any cost that you'd have in a program. Now, let's talk about how the fast tracks came to be. Now, you can study for an exam. You can just pick up your code book just like this, start flipping through it. Hope you get lucky. You can spend a lot of time just flipping and thinking you're studying the right thing and you're not. Or you could spend your time learning the National Electrical Code systematically from the very beginnings in Article 90 to 100 for definitions and work your way up to Chapter 9 and learn various tables like Chapter 9, Table 8, Chapter 9, Table 1 for Aceway Fill, Chapter 9, Table 9 for AC Impedance. You can learn all these things. But you don't know what's on an exam, so you're kind of hit and miss it. Well... There's plenty of DVDs out there. There's plenty of books. There's plenty of people streaming stuff on the internet all over the place. It's a hodgepodge of information. So what we did was we created a Fast Tracks program and we partnered with Cengage and utilizing their LMS system, as well as utilizing the publication from Mr. Charles Miller, putting it all together. And then we enhanced it by adding material to it and adding my commentary as well as my review of all submitted exams to give you feedback. So if that wasn't enough, let's talk about all the benefits in the program. Now, remember when I told you that I like you to create flashcards, little ID cards that you can get at the Dollar Tree or Dollar General, little, little white index cards, and you write on one side Article 100 and on the other side definitions, on the other side Article 200, and the other side you put uh, grounded conductors and neutrals and things like that. I told you to do this. I told you to make flashcards, for example, for equipment grounding conductors under 250.122. So put that on one side and the other side put table 250.122. On the other side put equipment grounding conductor sizing. Uh, motors, 430, the significant tables for the FLC, 430, 248, 249, 250, things like that. I've told you to do this for years and we created a better way. So one of the features in the Fast Tracks program is the ability to have flashcards, an unlimited number of flashcards, and I'll show you how easy they are to make. The other thing is that we created the ability for you to print any page you want out of the program. So you don't have to worry about a book that's gonna get outdated. You're using it to study. And if there's any information in it that you wanna print out to keep with your code book, go ahead and print it out. You have access to print out the entire book if you want. It's just not gonna be necessary. Now, Sometimes you might have calculation examples and you want to print those out, go for it, print all you want. Okay, so still wondering why it's a better investment for you? Okay, so in the program, you have what's called competency reviews. Now these tests are at the, after you do all the reading material, you're going to do a competency review and you're going to submit it to us here at Electrical Code Academy. I'm going to review it, I'm going to grade it, and I'm going to give you feedback. That's something that is unique because you can buy books and DVDs, but you don't get any interaction. And so we're incorporating that into it. Now, I have a lot of people that pay me for tutoring services. We're incorporating that into the program for you automatically. Now, Paul, what else makes the Fast Tracks a benefit to me? Exam questions. We have not only those competency reviews can range anywhere from 15 to 25 questions, but you also have end of unit reviews. You also have practice exams and you also have final exams, okay? So the practice exams are 25 questions. There's 20 of them, you do the math. And then you have three final exams that are based on a hundred questions. Now, we encourage you to time yourself in the final exams. So just get a timer like the one on your phone, set the timer for two minutes or three minutes, hit it, answer the question, stop it, see what your time was and see how proficient you get on it. Okay, so those final exam questions are great because they replicate what you will see on an actual exam. Not something written in a book, but the real environment like you're gonna have on an exam, which is computer-based. Um, so you're saying, what else? what else is the benefit for the program? Well, in the program, you have the ability to highlight things, bookmark things. You actually have the ability for it to read the material to you. We call that ballistic training. Not only do you see it, 
you hear it and you read it and it really tickles all the senses because again one of the problems i find with students is reading comprehension so they can read a question and by the time they finish the question they've lost the content in their mind of what the question was about and so this ballistic training helps with retaining that information now if that wasn't enough the flashcards and everything else that you get we're adding a new feature in 2021 and rather than tell you what that is right away i'm going to leave you at a cliffhanger now i'm going to get you to hold on for for just a few minutes while i run a quick review through the fast tracks program for all those people out there who aren't aware of why the fast track program is literally the best national electrical code learning system on the planet okay why would you want to pay a bunch of money for books and dvds that are going to sit on a shelf or dvds you're not going to watch anymore okay they could get scratched you have access to our console for 365 days 24 7 more than enough time to become very knowledgeable in the national electrical code you're going to learn this book inside and out using our program from definitions to general requirements to load calculations we're going to teach you standard optional methods for dwellings one one and two family for multifamily, for non uh, dwelling applications such as commercial buildings all that's going to be covered in our program and we have these little tidbits along the way that help you interact with the national electrical code so i've said a lot real quick before i tell you that real amazing feature that i have i want to show you how the fast tracks works real quick just want to be able to give you a taste okay so when you get into our program you're new to the program this is kind of what your console is going to look like you've got different sections within each one of those folders you have individual units now individual units have all of our core course material okay and as you go through the material you'll go down and you'll see that we have videos precisely placed in one folder this is different for the 2017 edition we have them inside the folders with the course material well we did that here but we also put them all together in one location so you can get access to all these videos on different topics now one other thing that we've added in this program, which is the same for the 2017 program as well as this 2020 program, the choice is yours, which one you want, is that you have all of these exam questions. Again, here's the root video that we have that everybody watches because that explains how to take a question and dissect it. Now, in this program, you have all of these practice exams. You can take them. Again, we encourage you to try to shoot for scores above 85% take them over and over and over again and it replicates a real live exam environment all right so all those and I'll give you a sample of what that looks like so you kind of can see what that looks like in case you're new once you start it this is exactly what it'll look like okay it'll have all these questions here and you will answer them and you simply click the click the answer and it'll tell you whether it's right or wrong and if it's wrong it will give you the code section in the answer in fact the 2020 edition will give you 2017 and 2020 references, and the 2017 edition will give you 2014 and 2017 editions. So it's pretty amazing depending on what cycle you're on. All right, so that's kind of how your questions go. Um, and that is your practice, and there's, again, 20 of those. But here's the biggies. These are your actual final exams. And here's the master, for example. I just want to give you an idea of what this looks like. So in this master exam, you're going to see that you have a hundred questions that replicate exactly what you would see on an electrical exam. This gets your confidence up. This isn't like answering a question in a book. Okay. This is going to get your blood flowing. This is going to help you really focus on how you need to look at the question because this is how it's going to be on an exam. Okay, so we give you three of those at 100 questions each. That's 300 questions there. Not to mention you have 25 of the, uh, the 20 of the practice exams at 25 questions each. Starts adding up, right? Over 800 questions plus, plus the finals. And then all the questions that are in the actual units are going to push you well over 1,000 questions to really test your knowledge of the NEC. Now, when you go through the unit, you'll have you know, the sections. You'll have these different units. You want to work each unit individually and inside of them i'll take definitions for example you've got your core reading material which should always be the first thing you do 
Then after you finish your reading material, take your time. It's not a race, okay? Then you do the review questions. Now, the reading material, I'll show you kind of what that looks like. It's on the screen. It's from our course book, but it's put in an easy, palatable way so that you can really focus on the information. Now, some of the features we have here, for example, is our ballistic training. If I left click and drag it over this, and then you have a pop-up. And if you click read text, check this out. A bathroom is an area that includes a sink, basin, with one or more of the following, a toilet, a urinal, a tub, a shower, a bidet, or similar plumbing fixtures. So that is what we call ballistic training. It's tickling all the senses. No other program has this. So you can read it, you can hear it, and you can see it as you follow along. You will forever remember that for a bathroom to qualify as a bathroom, it has to have a sink or basin in any one of the other as listed here, like a toilet, a urinal, a tub, a shower, a bidet, or similar plumbing fixture. So you see, it's just a better way to learn. Now, we're also going to give you really highly detailed graphics, call outs so that everything is clear, and you simply scroll down and follow all the material and just move from unit to unit. Another feature that you have in here is if you're doing this on a mobile phone or a tablet with a small screen, you can change the size of the actual text to fit the screen. Kind of keeps from struggling to see the, uh, the verbiage on the screen. Another interesting thing that we've added into this program are these chevrons. Anytime you see these chevrons, you're going to have code language between it. You should always stop in your reading material, grab your code book, and go to that section and read that section. It's real important because that's going to hammer home the whole lesson here. So what are we doing? We're giving you material to read, basically our commentary. Then we're sending you to the code book so that you can put the two pieces together. Plus, it teaches you to maneuver through the NEC. Okay, so anytime you see those chevrons, that's a reference to get you to the code book. Okay, so again, now let's say that you had a question that you want to come back to later. Here's another feature. Left click on your mouse, drag it and highlight over it, and then the pop-up will come up. And let's say I want to highlight it for later. Let's say I want to have this discussion in one of our live chats or one of our training sessions, or you want to email me something, okay? But you're in the middle of your reading, so you don't want to stop, okay? So you highlight it, now guess what happens? Over here on the right, you have some navigations. Now we're gonna talk about just really four of the, of the key navigation points here. This one is the book, and I'll show you that in a minute. This is what's called Study Hub. We're gonna talk about this, which is flashcards, and we're gonna talk about the progress so that you can see my responses to all your submitted code tests. Okay, so let's go to the Study Hub first. So anytime you highlight something, you click Study Hub, you go to where it says Notes and Highlight, and notice this is 2-1G, so you'll notice that you go down here, here's definitions, 2-1G, I click on it, this is exactly what you highlighted. Now, you could right click, you could highlight this and right click and copy it and put it in an email, or you can leave it right here and just a reminder for you to come back and review it later, however you want to do it. But if you want to get rid of the highlights, you can click it here to, to cancel it and it'll get rid of it everywhere else in, as far as in the program. Now over here, if you wanna get rid of it, you can highlight it, right click, oh, excuse me, click on it and then to remove the highlight. You have full functionality everywhere through the program. Now, here's another interesting thing. Let's say that I want to bookmark it so I can come back later, okay? Click bookmark. We'll go back to that study hub later. In fact, let's close it all out. And let's say we wanna go back to where we left off in unit two. So go over here to your study hub, click bookmarks, and here we were in unit two, and that's where we were. And if you click it, it'll take you right back to where you were. You can unclick the bookmark and it'll get rid of it out of your bookmarks. So again, there's ways to navigate this all around so that you have total control of how you learn. Again, great illustrations, great uh, call outs to let you know what something really means and helps you understand it. You can print any page from right here in case you have any questions. Now, let's say you're doing that competency review. You've done that unit from cover to cover. Now you go to what's called our competency review. Now this is where I get involved with you because when you get a competency review like this, you're gonna have to put the code reference, again, you can't leave it blank, and you gotta give the answer to the question. So 
if you're thinking, I just finished the unit and I don't remember it too well, and I'm hoping you go back and read it because these are fundamental things that you're covering in each unit. But if you don't, while I'm in unit two, which is definitions, I can always go right here. Now see what this is? It's called full book. Click on the book. And as you can see, it brings up the guide. You can go to the table of contents and go right down to two, which is definitions. And in this case, it's a branch circuit I'm looking for. So I can go down to branch circuits and you can say, well, is it a multi-wire? Is it a general purpose? Is it an individual branch circuit? Is it an appliance branch circuit? If it doesn't jog the memory, which it should, if you've been through the unit, then you're thinking, well, I know it's not a multi-wire. I know it's not an appliance. It's got to be a general purpose. And you see here, it says a general purpose branch circuit supplies two or more receptacles or outlets for lighting and appliances, Article 100. Okay? So since it did that, you know that the answer is Article 100. And then over here, you put the answer. And the answer is, and I'm going to type it in, general purpose and you go on to the next question you work your way all the way down until you filled them all in and you click submit and that will be electronically submitted to me okay now if you want to stop at any time in the program and just stop then you can do that and you can always save your work you can also print this out and work on it offline and then come back and input it in when you have a little more time or you want to spend more time answering these questions because I don't want you to leave them blank. Part of learning the NEC, now this is a difficult document to learn, but part of learning it is spending the time in it. It doesn't matter how well I develop a course and how much content I give you. If you do not dedicate your time to dedicated learning, then it's going to be hard for you. And we've done the best we could to kind of give you those tools. All right. So once you submit it, it goes to us for grading, and then all you've got to go is down to the progress button, click on it, and you can see which ones you've submitted, and you can go back and look at the review that you submitted, and you'll see our comments in there. We'll tell you what you got wrong, things like that. So that's all in the program. Now, we're only going to give you the answers if you get a 60% a or higher. If you get below 60%, we're going to tell you to redo the unit because there was something about it you didn't comprehend. And remember, it's all about your success. That's what this program was based on. Now, if you get scores that are below 86, that's 85 and less, we're going to encourage you to review it again. But remember, we're going to give you the answers, so you don't need to submit the review again, but you do need to go back and look at why you got those questions wrong as part of your review of that unit. Now, when that's done, you move on and do the, the actual drill work or final assessment, like this right here, the final assessment questions, and then move on to the next unit. Okay. You finish everything that's in that unit before you move on to the next unit. Everything. Watch all the videos that are in there. Do everything that's in there. And then you can move on. Okay. So that's some of those features. Now, we also talked about, and it's available anytime you're taking the exam as well. So it's not just during the course material, but also if you're in those reviews or those exams, you can use the course book. Remember, I want you to use the NEC. But I also want you to use the course material to go back and read the material because all of these questions in the review are based on what you just read and learned during the unit, okay? That's why we do it this way. So again, I don't know any other program that ever does that. Now, the other thing that we offer down here is, is the flashcards. Now, we have flashcards that are available pre-done for every unit. But if you want to create your own, you're free to do that. So you've heard me talk to people about creating flashcards. Well, let's say I wanted to create a flashcard on every article in the NEC, and I encourage you to do that. So article 100 for definitions. Okay, so see this button here? It says create a card. Click that card. Right here, I might put, let me see, article 100. And down here, I might put definitions. Okay, so I create a flashcard, article 100. What does that mean? It's definitions. Do this again for 230 for services, 410 for luminaires, lamp holders. Again, it's endless to what you could make it. You could do it for every part. You could do it for every hard table in the code, like 250.66 for grounding electroconductor sizing, uh, 250.122 for equipment grounding conductor sizing. Uh, you could give yourself a test to know what is the standard overcurrent protected devices at 240.6a. You can create all of that and just create all the flashcards you want. Very powerful tool. It's included in the Fast Facts program. Again, 
You can't get that from DVDs, and you can't get that from just a book. This is an interactive course. This is your own console. So that's what we do there. And again, down here is the progress. Now, that's just some of the features in the course. Obviously, you have all the practice questions and everything. And ah, yes, we do cover load calculations for both one and two family, for one family, for multifamily, even commercial load calculations, services, grounding and bonding. Everything is in here. But I guess you're probably wondering, what is it that I've been talking about that makes this program the best value right out the gate? And you've held in here for this long, so I'm going to give you the answer, okay? What we've done is we've incorporated Zoom. So every Wednesday night, we are going to have special training from 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to 9.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, dedicated training to the fast track students. And we are not increasing the price of the program to offer this one-on-one. -on -one. Now I could do this without this, okay? But we're giving you this as a benefit for our program. So you add the flashcards, the, the ballistic training, um, the, the textbook material, the, the uh, calculation material, everything that you have in the program, um, and you put all that together, the fact that you submit questions, all the practice exams, the interaction you're going to get with me, grading those questions and giving you feedback, but now you're going to get training live. Is that not worth the price of admission alone? Again, we're so excited about offering this. Again, only available to Fast Track students and those select individuals in our YouTube subscription program. Those are the ones that are going to get access to it. Other than that, this is an exclusive deal. So hopefully it's worth the price of admission alone. And again, I look forward to having you joining us in one of our live sessions. And again, if I think I've given you enough reasons why our fast track program for such a low price blows everybody else out of the water. You study with me, you will learn the NEC. Till next time, folks, stay safe and God bless.